Miles Morales. They might just call me Chalice if I got to catch them all. I volunteer to take the challenge. I got the plug in the order. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what up? Welcome to Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. I'm your host, Red Henny. Anyway, uh, I got my buddy with me right here. It's my buddy Simon. So, uh, anyway, I'm I'm getting at you real quick, uh, just to let you know that. Um, I just got a notification, uh, for something I've been talking about for a long time, been waiting since about 2015. Yeah. Since 2015, when it was first, uh, announced at San Diego comic-con, um, by Mattel. And as you can see from the title of the video, you know exactly what it is, but so been waiting since 2015 for it. Did the whole pre-order process, um, and finally got the notification uh, from FedEx that it was uh, in route. It was on its way. Uh, and then I got a notification that it was delivered just now. And I'm about to go outside because I heard the front door area. So we had some movement. I need you to stay right here. Just sit down and wait. I'm talking to Simon because he doesn't listen. how big that box is man it's kind of heavy all right so just just to give you some context real quick sitting outside my front door and that is a big box All right, so I'm gonna try to get this inside. We're gonna do an unboxing today. We're gonna have some fun unboxing, all right? Be right okay. back. So you guys know what's going on real quick. I finally got the box inside, brought it up the stairs, flights of stairs, and I'm trying to get into this room right there, into my office, and Attempting to get it into that space. I've already measured out everything. I've been measuring it out for the last at least two years, especially after last year. Uh, but I'm gonna have to rearrange this entire Mo2 area. Gray skulls, you gotta go down there. And Snake Mountain will go across the top. Uh, but let's get to the unboxing part. Like I said, get that box in the disc room and we're gonna unbox it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, finally got this bad boy up the stairs uh, from the front door. Uh, like I said, it just got delivered by FedEx and we are gonna do the unboxing. We're gonna get it unboxed uh, and crack it open, see how beautiful it is. I've seen some pictures online already, seen a couple videos up of people that have already gotten theirs. So we're amongst the first to actually uh, get it shipped to us. Um, so I, I, let me just start off by saying this box is huge. Um, there is a picture that Brian Flynn and Super 7 had emailed out uh, to all the backers and all the fans, basically uh, with him holding the actual, the box itself with the box art and everything like that, holding it and it's covering him. And I can tell you right now, there was no deception in that photo, at least with the size of this right here. Um, it was a struggle for me just getting it upstairs. Now the product itself weighs about uh, 50 pounds. I think the shipping weight was like 49.5 pounds or something like that. Uh, 
but it's about 50 pounds plus the there's two boxes before you even get to the we'll, we'll get to that part but let me tell you right now super seven did not have brian flynn doing any kind of uh photo cgi kind of thing uh trying to distort the size of the box this i'm five eight and as you can see this is a lot so let's get it open oh. Thank you for tuning in to the unboxing of Snake Mountain. Peace. I'm, I'm, no, I'm just joking. That's not it. I'm just joking. But uh, as you can see, that was a lot of work uh, getting everything out the box. Uh, man, bravo to Super 7 so far because uh, as big as this thing is, uh, the size of a piece of furniture being delivered to your home, you see that they have the plastic... Um, corner protectors for the box it was double boxed and then you have the monster itself snake mountain uh as the third box but uh they made sure to protect it very well as you can see the old school style uh black and white or red and white um on the back colorless like uh the the old school vintage uh he-man action figures and vehicles uh, then you also have Snake Mountain Bio right here, huge on the side of the box, uh, obligatory product shot, like MGO, the reviewer says, uh, you get the product shots right there, right there, again, beautiful artwork on the front, that, it's really, really nice, I'm not gonna lie, like, uh, I tend to keep certain items there's some more product shots on the back, what it includes. Uh, figures not included, but I got plenty of them, so I'm good. But uh, they just they did a really good job with the artwork on this box. Um, and again, I, there's certain items that I do keep the boxes for, like the uh, Sideshow collectible, Collectibles, Optimus Prime Maquette. I kept the box for that. Uh, there's a lot of items in here, even my Castle Grace that I kept the box for. Um, and then on the top, you've got another shot of the box artwork. Um, I think this also includes a poster. Um, while I'm over here, while I'm on this side, I might as well get this part open. While we're at it. Okay. So then when you open it up, it's another protective cardboard piece okay so we got snake round bio right here i believe this is actually the poster uh that came with it of the box art that you see right there so we're gonna go over that and A lot of cardboard. A lot of cardboard. Woo! All right, I'm gonna have to rearrange some things because I'm running out of room here in the toy store, uh, so that we can actually really get into this and get everything out. So let's do that. Okay, now I had to get that off the table. This thing is too huge for the 
standard setup. So clearly I gotta do some things different. Like I said, we got the poster instructions right here. I believe that's the spire right there. Let me get it open and see. Get it open and see. And it is. It is the spire. It's a good opener. Okay, so this is the first piece of plastic that I am taking out right now. And let me be the first to tell you, there's some weight to this thing. Again, this is the first piece of plastic that I'm taking out of the packaging. And it's not cheap plastic at all. Very impressive. Here we go. Let's take a look at that. It's not, doesn't feel thin. I'm impressed thus far. Okay, get that out the way. We got something else in here. What do we do? We got something else in here. we call this snake mountain so you go you got the snake right there Let's see what other goodies they have in here they package this awesome this is awesome the way they package this okay we got pieces okay. this goes the very top of snake mountain see that so as you can see it's got part of the snake on it So in this box, we have the gates, all the separate pieces, there's a gate right there. We have the gate for the top platform of Snake Mountain right here. Again, really good plastic. Great sculpting. We'll get closer looks of everything once we get the whole thing put together. I know there's a few uh, collectors out there that were fortunate enough to be able to get more than one. This is one of the monster gargoyle type faces that will go on the interior but i know there's uh some collectors out there that were able to get more than one more power to you if you're able to pre-order more than one and i know everybody again like i said uh we've been waiting since 2015 so okay it's one of the for one of the tunnels you could seal up there we go we got the ladder
of the gargoyle face. We get close-ups of everything once everything is put together. Yes, so in this box, there's a bunch of pieces. Another gargoyle face. I believe this is the fourth gargoyle face. It is. So we got four like the Beatles. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. That's what I'm going to call them. Here is the computer that will go up basically in Skeletor's office where his bone throne is supposed to be at. bridge that goes just by the people call it a lava flow a lava fall or I think it's a blood fall or something to this bridge and the infamous net for the trap door that all the Fans were speculating, they were wondering if there was going to be a net. Well, there's your answer right there. But I'm sure you've already seen the pictures online and everything. So, no biggie like bad boy. Ah, and there is Skeletor's table where he looks into to be able to spy on He-Man, he, all the visions come up here, if you remember that from the Filmation cartoon. Again, this is really, really solid plastic. Uh, man, I'm, I'm impressed, and not just for the sake of being impressed, because I've been waiting so long to get this, but, uh, you know, we, we've, saw, we've seen it behind glass at Comic-Con, and at Fort Axelair, at the Super 7 store in San Diego, and, I know those are two different molds, but what I'm saying is we never got a chance to actually put our hands on it and touch it. And I know that the original molds are not made from plastic, but usually the product sometimes seems like it gets, uh, it loses some of its luster when it gets made into PVC or whatever type of plastic they use. And sometimes the companies go kind of cheap. I can tell you right now that Super 7 did not. This, this, I mean, it feels. So far, these last few pieces have felt like, like, um, Entertainment Earth when they, uh, put out the different, uh, their statues that they're putting in, very cost effective statues, uh, nowadays, uh, like, uh, Marvel Gal uh, Gallery. Um, yeah, these, these, this is very good quality. All right. And we are getting to the main event. I got to get my table for this. We got to get this up on the table. Okay, so we got the plastic on the main body of Snake Mountain right now. This thing is heavy, like very heavy. This is not lightweight whatsoever. Be very careful with it. Once you've waited five years or something, you don't want to mess it up. So you got the plastic off, and it is not an overstatement to say this thing is massive. This is a very big piece of plastic right here. Um, and I don't even have all the pieces on yet. Uh, we are going to get those on right now though. 
Okay, so we have the instructions right here. Again, this is the poster. Snake, Snake Mountain Bio. This is actually just a really large poster. I'll show that on another angle in a little bit. Uh, but they did not go small with this thing at all. Super 7 did an awesome job. Probably just as good as Mattel could have done with it. But here are the how-to, the instructions on how to put all your pieces together. Um, as you can see, you have Orko actually guiding you. Uh, Orko's known to get into a little bit of mischief with his magic, but uh, I think he's gonna be pretty reliable with these instructions uh, today. So I'm getting ready to put the top onto the backside of Snake Mountain right here. I can almost guarantee you this is the bone throne. But this is the way the back of it looks. And as you can see, my lights over there. I've had to do a lot of rearranging to get this thing set up because it's so massive. So uh, also word of caution to anybody that's getting their Snake Mountain, uh, waiting for it to ship. Uh, it is a heavy piece. So if you try to pick up one side, like I was struggling a little bit with it, uh, uh, a little bit ago um, and I picked up one side and I actually snapped there is a bit of a snap right here uh, where the pieces connect when this turns out because I picked up one side and the weight on the other side was so heavy it, it allowed it to kind of snap so be very careful with that um, when you're actually taking the plastic off of it uh, I, I'm not gonna lie I actually saw the prototype and I was you know, you know, I knew that it got uh, shrunk down by at least a third, I believe, but I was not expecting it to be as big in person. Um, I've had to literally rearrange uh, my office or what I call the toy store to get this ready. So right now, as I stated before, this box right in here, I uh, also got the, got everything, the top of the tower already put together. I'm about to put in the faces, the gargoyle faces. I got the, what used to be the old school microphone put in. But like I was saying, this is the bone thrown right here inside of this box. Again, very solid plastic. All of this has really, really good plastic. So, that is nice. That is a nice bone thrown right there. You know, with the, it looks like a fur seat. I'm sure the rest of it is very uncomfortable, but get your bone thrown right there. All right. All right we have Skeletor's table right here. That. Very nice piece. That's where he comes up with a lot of his master plans. Dastardly deeds. Sure. Ladder. Okay. We got a couple more pieces to add on. Once I get those on, I will show you the rest of it completed. Okay, so there's a few things I wanted to show you real quick. So I was able to get the net set up and sit in there. Now, let me show you these faces. What you do is, now on the instructions, they have an example of how you can arrange them. And then you find the peg holes, line that up. It's just as simple as pushing it and they can be rearranged however you want to do it. Um, I kind of have an idea of how I want to have mine set up. Just strike the most terror in would be visitors or hostages, Snake Mountain. Okay, so next up we have the computer. Okay, right here in the bone throne room. All right, so you see that little peg right there. And then you see the peg 
hole right there on the back of the computer. It's just as easy, just like when you're putting on the faces. You just put it right there. So now Skeletor has views of the entire galaxy surrounding Eternia and wherever else via whatever really, really good Wi-Fi he would have to have being that his base of operations is inside of a mountain with a snake wrapped around it. But I'm sure in Eternia they got some magical Wi-Fi. So there you have it. And bone thrown. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've had to be very creative on the way I was going to set up uh, the toy store and actually get this thing put together. And you saw how massive the box was. Uh, you see how massive the play set is. Um, and uh, Skeletor now has a, a home to call his own. Uh, but one thing I want to get out of the way real quick, uh, we've already uh, dispelled the rumor about whether or not Brian was holding up a box and they made it magically look way bigger than it was supposed to be or whether or not they actually had a little kid holding that box. No, he had, it, that box is huge. Um, and it took me a lot of work to get it <laughs> unboxed and get everything set up. But let me get a measurement out of the way because even I'm curious about this too because I do remember seeing the actual one at Comic-Con, the original prototype that was about, seemed like it was about 44 inches high, maybe closer to 48. It was almost four feet tall though. Uh, but this one I know has gotten shrunk down for retail release and because Super 7 did it. So let's finally see what we're working with. Okay, so from the base to the top, it's approximately 38 inches. So still pretty impressive. 38 inches. All right. And from one end excuse me, careful, to the other is about 42 inches. Okay, so it's about 42 inches. So it's not, I mean, it really, I mean, actually, I think uh, it was only supposed to be 36 inches high and uh, maybe about 42 inches wide, but it's it's very impressive. Uh, the other question, how is it shaping up? How does it measure up to Castle Grayskull? So let's get the new homeowner and his pet Panther out the way. Let's take a look. Okay, now I have Castle Grayskull right in front of it. And as you can see, it still towers over Castle Grayskull. And Castle Grayskull is about 40, I mean 24 inches high, I believe. So if I had to spire on top, it'd be about 24 inches high. So, and this is 38 inches. So there you go, just so you could get an idea of now, even if you open up Castle Grayskull, remember Castle Grayskull only opens up to like an L shape. So it doesn't open up as wide. If it was able to open up as wide, it still wouldn't be as wide. Um, close, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be as wide. So, final thoughts. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Uh, and I'm probably a little partial because I waited five years to finally get my hands on Snake Mountain, something that I saw at Comic-Con that long ago and was very impressed with. Uh, but if I had to say whether or not it's whack, and you know on Toys and Toys and Action Figures, whack is don't waste your money, don't even wait for it to go on clearance. You won't miss it. Matter of fact, you'll thank yourself for missing out on it. Um, then there's cool. You know, why not? Cool, if you find it in a bargain bin or something like that at some point, it's not gonna hurt. You know, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, then there's dope, which is like, yeah, you should definitely go for it. Live a little, have fun, pre-order it. Well, actually, no, you don't have to pre-order if it's dope, but you know. And then there's classic. If it's classic, definitely pre-order it. Pre-order one, pre-order two, uh, so you can keep 
one mint and seal box or then open the second one and display it. Uh, and in the case of Snake Mountain, because it's not available for retail release because it was put out by Super 7 and even if Mattel had put it out, um, they still probably would have did some sort of pre-order uh, Kickstarter campaign, which is what they did with the Castle Grayskull. Um, I'm going to say this is a classic. I'm saying this classic not because of even the five year wait um, to get our hands on it and all the logistics that went behind getting it. Uh, I'm saying it's classic because we're not in the age of play sets anymore. It's just not happening. You don't walk into, uh, well, there's no more Toys R Us in the United States anywhere. I think it's just in Canada at this point. But you don't walk into a toy store anymore and see a whole display at Walmart right now. They're doing displays for Masters of the Universe Origins. But you're not walking into a toy store where you're going to see an entire display of a toy line, including the bases. So you're going to get the the smallest figures. You know, if you're not big on the budget, or you're going to get the large. But you're just not getting that anymore. And uh, the fact that Mattel uh, they let go of the line right as they announced probably a year or so after that they announced they were going to be doing Snake Mountain. They let it go. Uh, Super 7 picks up the license. Super 7 has never put out a base size. Uh, they, they normally put out more novelty items, um, but they've never put out a just huge headquarters base or anything like that. And they, they picked up uh, and what the horse uh, four horsemen had put together, and they still were able to put it out. Um, and not just put it out, but they had to find a fine medium between giving us the massive thing that we all saw at Comic-Con, which uh, Mattel was going to shrink down anyway. They even said it at, at the Comic-Con. Um, but So they shrunk it down to basically what it was going to be shrunk down to. Did it cost a little bit more? It did. And that's why I'm glad that they did the uh, Kickstarter style. Um, gave you time to save up and not just that you also were able to do payment plans some people ordered it through entertainment earth and big bad toy store so uh they might probably got charged a percentage fee the big bad toy store or, or nothing at all at uh, entertainment earth from what i understand and then their car gets charged later when it's going to ship and that's more than a year later so you have time to actually save up for it so i i say it's classic because again you're not seeing bases and and uh, play sets anymore. This thing is massive. Um, if I had to put it in the realm of what we could compare it to, I'd say USS Flag um, because it's of the sheer size of it. This was a piece of work for me. I'm actually kind of tired, to be honest. After setting this up and putting it together, and I know a lot of people have been showing, hey, I'm, I'm going to do a video of. Uh, unboxing and they're just maybe want to show you the box or some people are like let me just show you uh, it already set up um, and I'm sure those people were probably worn out after they got it set up and they and they put it together or they got the box from the front door uh, it, it was this is back this is probably the hardest I've worked on a review and an unboxing uh, since I started doing this channel so but I did it for you guys because I've been promising you and I've been telling you as soon as I get it you're gonna get it, I'm gonna let you guys see it, and I'm gonna do a review on it. Um, but I think this thing is classic. Uh, I'm so happy that if they're gonna end the uh, Motu Classics line, um, and it's gotta end off uh, somewhere, I know Mattel has picked up uh, Motu Origins, uh, but if they're gonna end the classics, the seven inch scale figures, uh, with the beautiful articulation and paint job and everything like that that we've been getting for more than 10 years now, this, what a way to go out. Go out with a bay. Go go hard or go home. And I think they definitely did that. So anyway, I'm going to get this thing set up. And I'm going to uh, also include some pictures of how I got the display redone. Because again, I've had to do a lot of work uh, preparing for this to get here. And it's everything that I imagined and then some. And again, it's very much quality. Uh, but beware for those of you guys that have not received it yet or have to wait because you ordered it through Entertainment Earth or whatnot. Uh, and you're waiting till maybe December or January, keep in mind, it is a heavy piece of material. Um, it's not as compact as the Castle Grayskull was. If you own the Castle Grayskull, that's a lot more compact. This is very heavy. Be careful with it when you're installing, uh, like for instance, these separate pieces and parts, um, the gates, things like that. You want to make sure that you are careful that you're not going to snap or, um, 
get any stress marks. Uh, like I said, I, I um, picked up one side of this and it got it got a little bit of a crack um, at the very bottom. It's not going to affect it or anything like that. But still, uh, with the, the size of it, the investment, and the fact that it's uh, scarce, uh, you don't want to have to go jump through hoops trying to get replacement parts and things like that. So, uh, and for those of you that weren't able to pre-order it, uh, good luck because it's going to be on the secondary market. It's already hitting the secondary market, places like eBay and things like that. And uh, it's going for, I've seen some for two, three times more. So, uh, good luck with that. But if you're a Motu fan, you definitely should have this. Um, but thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for being patient too, because I know I've been talking about this for a while, but thank you for being patient and uh, waiting for us to finally get our hands on it and get it put together for you. Uh, once again, this has been Reg Handy with Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. As always, be good to yourself, be good to others, uh, show empathy, and you work hard. Open your toys, play with them. Peace. Miles Morales, they might just call me challenge. If I got to catch them all, I volunteer to take the challenge. I got the plug in the order. I used to call Castle Grace go home Way before Macaulay Coke and home alone Thundercat or Battlecats Used to kick my battle raps Scalping all the action figures You deserve a slap for that King of the exclusive Articulating movements Pulling every action figure pose This is how we do it I'm one with the force player This is how I knew it My pre-order came in the mail Now I gotta review it I'm feeling like a mutant Like Logan, I'm a loner Listen, I've been doing this Since Duke wound up in the coma Christmas was always sunny On the coast of California So your masses of the universe figures would stay warmer I ought to warn you Don't be sixes and sevens When you be on the message Boy disagreeing with brethren 85, 86, 87 Wanted it bad Now I'm the proud owner Of a USS flag